And to the email stack we go now for from James G. Subject, Daily Observation of the State. Ready for checkout. I find an empty lane and begin to fill up the belt with my groceries. The lady behind the register is a short, frail, elderly lady in her late 70s. She greets me with a soft, sweet hello as she scans the items gently and as quickly as her age allows. I begin to wonder why this lady is working in the final stages of her life. She seems to be intensely focused on her task, as if she was defusing a bomb. My heart begins to break for this lady. Maybe she was a single parent. Maybe she took on responsibilities that were not hers. I immediately think of my grandmother and my throat knots up. The line quickly builds up and I begin to feel the negativity behind me. The crows begin to make impatient gestures and noises as they suck their teeth and tap on the carts. I turn my head towards them, enough to give a glance of disgust out of the corner of my eye. Heartless bastards, like it's their time that's almost up. I smile at the lady as she hands me the receipt. I wish her and the bag boy a good day and cart my food to the car. The nature of the state begins to set in as I place the groceries in the trunk. The word serfdom lingers in the background ambiance of my thoughts. It's hard enough to deal with the unexpected financial hardships life can throw at you. To have to contend with inflation and taxation is the kick while you're down and the boot to the head. More than likely, she spent her whole life working only to be looted for her labor, stealing the closure to that lady's life so they can do what? Bail out their buddies? Stimulate special interest pockets and fund death and destruction? This lady will spend the last few years left of her life behind a machine, still paying taxes and still paying into social security while being reminded every day by rude customers that she is withering away. This is modern day serfdom. And this, an old woman forced to work well past when she should be retired, is the true face of a government that is here just to help you. Appreciate the little sneak attack you have. You want to have a serious discussion about monetary policy? Get yourself prepared for the conversation. It starts with a global run on the banks. That's completely bonkers. The working class does not get hurt by inflation. 